Hacksters, Alex Glow here coming at you with a new tech highlight and I'm very excited to share a new project that I have uh, just finished with you and there's a tutorial up and everything but first uh, before we take a look at that be sure to subscribe if you like electronics, DIY electronics, professional electronics, all kind of cool stuff like that. Anyway so let's take a look first up at the object itself. I built this origami LED bouquet in celebration of Valentine's Day. Uh, you could see it as a celebration of people. You can give it to somebody as a gift, but it also it expresses some of my appreciation for the earth because it runs on this special circuit called a jewel thief, which allows you to run small electronic projects off of supposedly dead double uh, A AA or triple A or whatever batteries. So it basically sort of magnifies the low amounts of voltage that are left in the battery. Uh, and you can see a sort of simpler version of this in my prior project, this uh, Jewel Thief LED tea light adapter, which is 3D printed and is also available as a tutorial on Hackster. You can find the links to those in the description below. But here's a little PCB. The Jewel Thief is a circuit that's actually been around for a while, since 1999 when Z Kaparnik, Z Kaparnik po uh, published it in a magazine. And uh, yeah, so I made my own version where you add this little um, ferrite toroid and a whole slew of things happen in a chain reaction, which uh, you can read about in the project. I always mess it up when I try to <laughs> explain it off the cuff, so I'm not gonna do it this time. But yeah, uh, it basically takes a supposedly dead battery and allows it to run small electronics. For example, this little LED tea light, and you can adapt your own tea lights so you don't have to go through a bunch of CR2032 batteries all the time. Instead, you can use any seemingly dead batteries that you already have on hand. And that's basically the same idea with this LED tea light, or not tea light, string light bouquet. So I've got a, a set of string lights that I've embedded in these origami flowers and powered with that jewel thief, which you can kind of get a peek at if you peer down the back of it here. Let's see, can we see it? There's some clear photos on the tutorial, which we'll take a glimpse at it in a second. But yeah, I used a couple different types of origami. There's this origami rose. I've linked the, to that tutorial in my tutorial. And also I used a crane base uh, for making a crane to make this little leaf to cover the last LED. Then we've got a little switch. The battery pack uh, sits in this little external grass thingy because I didn't want to have to uh, take it apart fully in order to replace the batteries so it's just kind of a little sleeve that really is sort of loosely held onto there and it's hot glued to itself so it can slide around in there as you can see and you can easily replace the batteries and then it's all tied up with some twine so I think this is a pretty uh eco-friendly way to go about giving somebody flowers because it's made of origami, which I've been wanting to do for a long time. Um, it is probably a little more friendly than 3D printing a bunch of flowers. Uh, it runs off of dead batteries. And even this little flower pot is one that I broke a while ago. And I used a sort of fake kin kintsugi technique uh, to mend it. Kintsugi is a traditional Japanese technique where you mend things with gold. And I just sort of used a two-part epoxy and brushed gold powder over it. But I'm really excited that it gets to live on in this project now. So lots of different upcycling ideas sort of all in one there. So let's take a look at the tutorial and at uh, some more information and other cool projects that I've found from across the years uh, to further inspire you for romantic or friendly gifts for your pals, for yourself, uh, anyone who deserves a little treat, honestly. So you can find the tutorial for this at bit.ly slash hackflower. Yoink, right there. And I wanted to show you specifically the assembly time lapse, which I've got over here. And uh, you can just see the flowers coming together. I didn't show the folding of all the flowers because that took a long time and I did it while I was video editing. Um, but you can see it's sort of like there's these steel wires that I've used for structure on the first few flowers, sticking those in the middle. And for that, I used a, let me show you here, 
used a plastic coated steel wire. So this kind of matches pretty well with the LED string light cable, as you can see in there. It's got a clear or slightly light blue plastic coat on it, which insulates it from the circuit and uh, has this silver wire on the inside, which also kind of matches the circuit. And then just some 11.5 centimeters square origami paper. Very pretty. There's some little captions here that describe what I'm doing, hot gluing the stuff into the bottom flaps in the roses. I left out the wire for the last few flowers because it was getting pretty tangly <laughs> and that was enough structure. And then you can see it all sort of coming together. So if you're curious about the assembly, you can look that up. Again, I posted links to all of the um, different origami tutorials that I used as well as everything else. <laughs> Hello, Benjamin. Thank you for joining. I've also got a link to the Jewel Thief original project uh, right up on Wikipedia here. <laughs> There's some prior art. There's a vacuum tubed based oscillator circuit. Uh, one important thing to note with this circuit is that it oscillates. It's not constantly on or constantly off. So, ah oh yes, it was an everyday practical electronics. So it's not for if you wanna run a microcontroller or something off of it, it would probably go on the fritz. It wouldn't like it, but for something like LEDs that can be switched quickly on and off, uh, that's just fine. It's all run off of this Jewel Thief PCB that I just mentioned. And that's my own adaptation of the Jewel Thief circuit. And here's the tea light adapter. These are all linked from each other, so you can easily find all of it. Here's the whoop. Lots of cross-linking. So um, origami rose tutorial and crane tutorial. So I wanted to also take you through a few of my favorite projects that are on Hackster that seem relevant to the season. We've got Yuri Prouse's ever-blooming mechanical tulip, which is a classic. He published it on the site in 2019. He's now got this beautiful, finished, professional uh, flower company that is touch sensitive. Um, and he sells these online. You can get your own one. Ever-blooming, touch sensitive gorgeous. It lights up. They've got all these different color combos. And we also did an interview with him, which you can find on our channel at bit.ly slash hackster cafe. You can get them with truffles in the middle or one to hold your ring or whatever. Anyway, there's a similar one published actually even earlier by the circuito.io team. Thank you, Brandon. It's gorgeous. Uh, and they made a sort of similar mechanism, which was apparently based on a flower that they bought in a, uh, <laughs> that they had in their office window. And then they were like, what if we made a not terrible looking one of these? Um, so that is a very similar mechanism. You can find a sort of more complex and beautiful one with wire here and then a simpler 3D printed version. Speaking of 3D printed flowers, and all of these projects are linked in the description below, just scroll down. Uh, Valentine's Day magical bouquet. If you want to fully 3D print some roses, you can do that. It's kind of a similar one to what I did. I actually didn't see it until I'd already made mine, but there's enough differences. Um, it, I think it's run straight off of an Arduino. So, But you can change the colors on this one, which is really cool. You've got NeoPixels in there. Love it. This is by Joshua Narr. Then, of course, you have to have some candy. So we've got a Choco Robot, <laughs> Autonomous Chocolate Delivery Robot. I was sad to see that Google recently, um, I think they froze the GitHub pages on these uh, AIY kits, the AIY Vision Kit and AIY Voice Kit, which I actually built a robot based off of these. So. This may soon be obsolete, unfortunately, but I think it's still a cute idea. A little household robot. And I think those, those look like skateboard wheels, but maybe not. Based off of the Adafruit Cricket down there, which runs with the Surfcut Playground Express and turns it into a robot. We've got Spoil Your Valentine with Particle plus Spoil plus AWS. This is a little bit old, so the Spoil service may not actually work anymore, but I love the idea. Uh, basically, you push this button and it delivers lovely things to whoever. <laughs> uh, they actually ate the chocolate out of the box, which 
like it's basically the gift that keeps on giving right you buy the box you eat the chocolates you put the thing in and they push the button and it delivers them more treats so everybody wins with this project Back on the subject of upcycling, I love this guitar amplifier that's made out of a box of chocolates. Uh, it's up to you know the recipient whether they would rather have the box of chocolates or the amplifier. On both of these ones, maybe you can save the chocolates and give them to the person in like a cute bag or something, but you might as well just eat them yourself. There's a new one from Adi who has published this Valentine Blink temperature controlled LED heart using a cool little sensor I haven't seen before. MLX 90614 ESF non-contact human body infrared temperature measurement module. Check that out. Uh, it runs on three to five volts, uh, runs over I squared C, and they've used it to make this cute little heart with some really lovely diffusion on those LEDs. So they programmed this to check whether the temperature falls within 31 to 36 degrees Celsius. Very cool. And they have some wonderful documentation here. Custom heart PCB. I love custom PCB projects. And uh, this is their previous one from 2018. So five years later, they're doing another heart project. Uh, and this is where they first tested out that uh, diffusion, with spray painting it. And this one runs on little ASP 8266s, looks like. Um, and they, when they come into close contact with each other, they detect each other's radios, and then they turn on. It's very cute. <laughs> Did I mention that? Yeah. Uh, is this one also by Audi, or is it just... It is! So here's an even earlier one. Wow. So, for all your <laughs> smart LED heart needs, go to Audi K. I love this one. Um, if you're not familiar with lithophanes, they are basically a 3D printed, or you, could, you can make them in any uh, number of processes, but people frequently 3D print these. You can take a photo and convert the black and white values, the density, the grayscale values, to um, thicknesses of, fi of filament, of 3D printed surfaces, or laser cut, or whatever. <laughs> uh, and then the light shining through them gets diffused, blocked, or passed through in such a way that the three the photo shows up. When they're off, it just looks like a sort of piece of plastic. But when they're on, you can see all the cool stuff. Love this. Really beautiful little video showing the whole process here. We love a process video. <laughs> 3D printing putting together the little sort of shadow box. You got some LEDs in there. Here's the tool they link, which is 3dp.rocks slash lithophane. You can make it flat, inner curve, outer curve, solid cylinders, all kinds of different shapes, domes, hearts. Um, let me go and 3D print it. We got assembly. <laughs> and it just comes out gorgeous. I think this is a lovely idea. And it's a great sort of, you know, maybe not a super last minute thing because of how much 3D printing is involved, but you know, you could always um, improvise for the framing and just print the lithophanes, which are pretty flat. Besides that, I think there's this really cute <laughs> heart uh, surface mount soldering kit from Spark Fun. You can get it for about 1850. You do have to buy the components, but uh, then you get a little badge. There's any number of little heart badge projects, though. Um, I am particularly fond of one by Nick Pissarro, which maybe I'll show you later. Um, but then also, if you want to check out more inspiration for future holidays, not just for Valentine's, but for other ones as well, you can go check out our holidays channel. We've got all these different themed channels, and in the description below, I've linked um, the main themed channels page with a directory of all the different ones. Um, so this is, you know, holidays, it's all kinds of different stuff. You got Christmas stuff, you got Halloween stuff, I think you've got some Hanukkah stuff in there. <laughs> all kinds of cool things. I assume this is for Halloween, but you never really know. Why not a light up mask for Valentine's Day? <laughs> um, communication is a good one. You always need communication and a relationship with anyone. Friends, family, upcycling. Of course, I love this one. 
show your love for the earth, art, all kinds of cool stuff that you can build for people, LED neon heart lamp, and a little heart matrix. People really love making little gifts for people, and so there's all kinds of stuff that you can do. This Android Things word clock is a classic. Companion bots, I love. <laughs> I can't, I can't not mention companion bots. You know, you can build your own friends. Why not make friends if you can't make friends, or even if you can? I would like to say that I can <laughs> that I make friends pretty easily, but if all else fails, robots. And there's all these different little robot friends that you can make from different people. My friend Jay, uh, Maker Josh has this cute little shoulder-mounted companion bot. All kinds of good stuff. Animals. Show love for your animal friends with cat toys, with... What is this? How is this pets? Oh, maybe because it's a mouse. <laughs> uh, Open Cat is a really wonderful little robot friend. But yeah, all kinds of different animals you can find on here. Protecting giraffes and elephants. Training wild birds to trade litter for food. I love this one. I actually interviewed Hans Forsberg on the channel a few years ago. So he <laughs> he started trading with uh, magpies. He got bottle caps and he would give them fruit. Beautiful. I also think it's very appropriate that he used a feather for this. Just have to say that. Finally, uh, we have a ton of plant projects. So if you want to show your love for the earth, if you want to make a bouquet, but don't want to 3D print it, you could build your own little plant box to keep uh, and grow your own flowers. Then maybe in a year, you'll be able to share them, even a few months. And you can keep them alive all year round. Another great way to promote a healthy world without... Uh, killing flowers. <laughs> no hate. I love uh, seeing flowers around, but uh, if you can keep them alive or make ones that bloom forever, why not? After all, we're an electronics, electronics channel, so I'm obviously biased. Okay, so those are my favorite uh, relevant projects that I found for the holiday today. I hope you enjoyed the uh, origami LED bouquet. Uh, Feel free to ask any questions. Uh, you can drop them in the bottom of the project there. There's a, a comment section. Uh, share your own projects. If you built anything cool this year, just go up to the uh, header here, the top bar, hit this plus sign for a new project. You can share your own work with the community. We've got guides on how to create a high quality project, content guidelines, what kinds of stuff is gonna be successful on the site. Um, it really doesn't take much to put a project together, but we love it when people put in photos and videos and things. And if you make a really cool thing, maybe you'll get featured on the front page. Ooh, I can't look at this page because it's too distracting. There's way too much cool stuff on here. Um, and of course you can always submit your projects to contests and things. All right. That about wraps it up for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me. Hack on and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of cool thing. Thanks so much for joining me.